Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be summing an infinite sum. So we're going to be adding the reciprocals of odd squares. 1 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 5 squared plus 1 over 7 squared, so on and so forth, all the way up to infinity. Now, for infinite sums like these, obviously one thing to think about is whether they converge or not right in other words can we find a find a finite sum for example if you were adding the reciprocals like one plus one half plus one third and one fourth this would not converge so there's no way you can find a finite sum and if people say okay it's equal to negative one over twelve don't believe them because it's incorrect it is false this sum cannot be a negative number. I mean, nobody in their right mind would say that, right? Anyways, so how do we find this sum if it converges? Does it converge? Probably. So one thing we know, hopefully, is that 1 plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 4 squared, so on and so forth, again, all the way up to infinity, this sum is equal to pi squared over 6. How do we know that? Well, there is something called a basal problem. This is what it is. And this sum is actually approximately 1.644934. So actually, interestingly, that's kind of, I think, close to golden ratio, right? Sort of, I think. Anyways, so maybe we can talk about the pr proof of this one day. Uh, but for this problem, we do need the odds only. So the million dollar question is, we know this sum, how can we get the sum of the odd ones? And the answer is easy, by getting rid of the evens. Hmm, what are the evens? The evens are the ones with even denominators. In other words, the two factorial and the four factorial and the six factorial, in general, terms like this right are the ones that we would like to get rid of okay so let's go ahead and see how we can do that to get rid of the evens obviously we do need to find the sum of the evens in other words we do need a sum for this 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 6 squared all the way up to infinity only including the reciprocals of even squares Make sense? Okay. So to be able to do this, we're going to use a little bit of, should I say algebra? Kind of. Yes, I think so. Uh, we're going to make a common factor. So what is a common factor here? Can you think of one? Well, looks like two, four, six all have two in them. But when you square them, obviously, that's going to turn into two squared. So we can go ahead and do this. We can write the one over four squared as one over 2 squared times 2 squared because 4 can be written as 2 times 2 and then 6 can be written as 2 times 3 so we can write 6 squared as 2 squared times 3 squared so on and so forth I think this will suffice right and then since every denominator has a 2 squared we can go ahead and factor out 1 over 2 squared and inside the parentheses this will give us 1 nice because we would like to start with 1 and then 1 over 2 squared and then this is where the notability sometimes likes to go crazy or maybe the, the Apple Pencil, whatever, something like would like to go crazy. Uh, and then to get the second term, we would need to multiply by 1 over 2 squared and then 1 over 3 squared, so on and so forth. Make sense? Okay, great. So that's basically is going to give us something interesting because you know what? While trying to find the sum of the reciprocals of the even squares we ended up with the whole sum hmm that's interesting so something that we know which is good because some a lot of times if you're solving a problem and you're looking for something you don't know you want to use something you know right obviously that's a probably a problem solving strategy or something like that anyways so we are trying to find the sum of the evens and this is what we found so 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4, and the sum inside the parentheses is the basal problem, and that is equal to, uh-oh, did I say that? Yes, pi squared over 6, awesome. So let's go ahead and replace this whole thing with pi squared over 6, 
So this becomes pi squared over 24. Nice. Now, where does pi come from? Again, like I said earlier, we can talk about the proof of this problem uh, one day. I think it's going to be an interesting video. I know other YouTubers made a video, but I'd like to show you my version, sort of. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down what this means. You kind of need to be organized and keep track of what, ha what is happening. We were trying to find the sum of the evens and that's what we ended up with. So in other words, the evens 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 6 squared, so on and so forth, is equal to pi squared over 24. What else do we know? We also know that the original sum, I mean the basal problem, tells us that this whole thing is pi squared over 6, from which we found the sum of the evens, right? When I say sum of evens, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. I mean the sum of the reciprocals of the squares, or the squares of the reciprocals, however you want to look at it. So now this is what we have, right? We, the second one we already knew, the first one we found from the second one. So maybe I should switch them around, but anyways. How can I use this, these two things to find the sum of the odds? And the answer is simple. You just use inclusion, exclusion, right? In other words, what does that mean? It just means that if you're trying to find the odds, you kind of have to get rid of the evens, and you actually know what the evens are. So from the whole thing, from the whole thing, I need to subtract the evens. Make sense? So go ahead and find this sum, and then from the sum of all the numbers, which is the basal problem, you can go ahead and subtract the evens, which is 1 over 2 squared, plus 1 over 4 squared, so on and so forth. Now we have all this information. The first one is actually uh, the original sum, which is pi squared over 6. The second one is pi squared over 24. Remember, that's what we found by factoring out the 1 over 2 squared. So now we're going to have to do this arithmetic, maybe algebra, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Making a common denominator, multiply by 4, you get 3 pi squared over 24, which can be simplified as pi squared over 8. Nice. So this is what it means, the conclusion, 1 plus 1 over 3 squared, plus 1 over 5 squared, maybe 1 over 7 squared, so on and so forth. I just gave you one more term. All the way up to infinity, this sum is evaluated as pi squared over 8. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.